Hi guys, this video is going to be about how to score and weed the buffalo plaid file. So first I pre-painted this board red with my Montana Gold in brick. Brick. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna mask it. Um, I had this one already somewhat cut out. Use my brayer. Really get it on there. Don't want any bubbles at all. And let's go set up the file in the Glowforge and get a cut. Open in the Glowforge. Uh, first thing we want to do, I actually have a quarter inch plywood, the Pure by Maple, in the Glowforge right now. So I'm going to use thick plywood. Uh, we are going to score just using draft setting for the pattern. And for cut, I always dial this down to 150 for Pure Bond Maple. Uh, and then we are going to set focus. And we are going to print. Okay, so we are scored and cut. We're going to go ahead and roll this down one more time. We're going to make sure there is no uh, bubbles anywhere. And then we are going to start lifting some of the masking. You are going to need a weeding tool of some sort. So... The way buffalo plaid works, if we look at this, you're going to have, the stripes are going to be every other square no matter what, but you're going to have either, your solid squares are either going to be uncovered or they're still going to be covered. So these would be the ones that we would uncover, these are the ones that are still covered. I'm sorry, flip that. These would be covered, these are the ones we would uncover. Um, because we are gonna be spray painting, you know, the different color. So think of it as your, your solid, solid shapes, solid squares need to line up as far as what you're unmasking. So let's just pick one. So we'll pick this guy right here. We're gonna carefully pull him up. You know, I'm gonna try tape. Let's see if tape works. Cause I'm afraid if I dig in too much, I may mar my paint underneath. So let's just grab this right here. We are going to carefully lift it. We don't want to disturb any of the little little pieces, which is again why I re um, rolled the with the brayer just to make sure that those pieces are really on there tight. So there's that. So re remember our red squares are going to match up. These will be will be left covered. So let's remove this one carefully. Still can't believe this worked. So funny. So we're going to have to come here and take this one out. And see what I'm doing. Okay, there we got it. Okay, we've got these over here as well. So let's peel this one back. And this is the edges are going to be the most tedious because they're not really connected to anything. So this one we're going to have to probably do separately as well. So now these need to be left solid. So we're going to grab this guy right here. If we can grab him with the tape. We can't. We may have to go back to the weeding tool. Yep. Okay. We're just going to weed the whole darn thing. So we're going to grab it. A 
again, trying not to mess up your paint. Now, you'll see, it's going to automatically just pick up the one next to it. And this is not for the faint at heart. <laughs> Pull these up. Pull this one up. This one up. If you're wondering, all these lines that are in the uh, file, I actually hand drew them. Didn't use, didn't use straight, straight lines. And I think that's kind of what makes this fun. Just a little wavy. Making sure we're pulling up the alternating lines. Would say this is probably a little bit more of an advanced weeding project. Let's grab this one. Come on, little buddy. And I just pulled up the wrong one. See that? So that's okay. I'm just going to push it right back down. Didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. Darn it. So see, it happens. It's okay. You can fix it. Okay. So there it is. Oh, this one needs to go away. And then these two. Okay. Whew. That was stressful. All right. So now we are going to bray it. Brayer it. One more time. Push them all down. And then we are going to do the trick where you use the shellac to help from it bleeding. Where did I put my shellac? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and give it a quick one over. Let that dry. And we will finish it up in just a little bit. All right, so we have sprayed our lacquer I'm calling it dry because I have no patience. Uh, and we are going to use one of my new favorite metallics. Because I just want to see what it's going to look like. So it's the champagne metallic. And we are going to give it a good uh, 
once over and see how it goes. I actually might change out my cap though. Is this, yeah, I'm gonna change out my cap. Okay. Definitely showing red through more than uh, I would like, but it could just be that the metallic is kind of a similar color. I think that's actually really good coverage. Whew. Okay, so we're going to let that dry and hope for the best. All right, here's the... Uh, Here's the moment of truth. There's one spot I'm nervous about that I see is that there's a little wrinkle there. So we're gonna see how this goes, but all right. Uh, fingers crossed, guys. It's, uh... Well. Doesn't wanna stick to it. It's okay. Oopsie. Just, oh my goodness. Look at that. Mm. I swear this second, this last round of tape I got is not as sticky as the normal um, uh, grill tape. I feel like I'm unwrapping a present at Christmas. What I'm nervous about is over here. I've not come by any issues yet. It's right there. Let's see. Uh, I think we're okay. It looks like it might have just maybe just the slightest bit, but really it's it's just like right there. But it's unless you're looking for it, you don't really see it. And that was my own fault because I was rushing. Um, if I had really looked, I would have seen that issue. So I'm gonna finish weeding this up. Okay, so here it is. Uh, that little message I had running along the bottom, I said, don't wear your rings. I managed to take a big old scrape right here out of the paint because of my ring stands up. So make sure you take off your rings so you don't make the same mistake I did. Um, but other than that, I think that it's very successful. Super excited about figuring out how to make this, this work. Here's, if we wanted to add in our name, we could. Um, and if you guys want a tutorial on how to make this, uh, let me know, or you can do that. Um, in Illustrator and I can try to figure it out in silhouette. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video and um, you know, we'll keep making new files and new videos and we'll just turn that right there so we can't see my gouge. All right. Thanks guys.